Still hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name. Hey, yo, what's going on right now? You watching Casino is the name. I'm sitting here with my man, Philip. Philip is a 100% disabled veteran, so I figured it'd be good to do a video with him just because a lot of people who might be trying to get their VA rating done and got looking up a lot of questions about it and they're not really sure what uh, they should do or things like that. So he's just going to give you some pointers about what, you know, his process was. Um, what's up, YouTube? <laughs> um, first, I'd like to say that... Um, I'm, I'm very proud of what I did for this country. I right. served in the United States Navy uh, for five years, and I was on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt, the aircraft carrier. And uh, a year of my five years in the Navy, I actually, um, I actually did a tour over in Afghanistan. And so- um, Combat veteran. Yeah, so I'm also a combat veteran. And so I'm proud of what I, I did. Um, yeah, some good times. The the people more so than <laughs> than the work, <laughs> but it was some good times. Absolutely. So uh, when you first came home, like, did you when you came home, did you like go through the VA process at the same time, or did you come home and then apply for your VA benefits? Well, when I got out, I knew I wanted to um, use my uh, post nine eleven GI Bill, right. and so um, to pursue. Um, you know, further my education, I ended up um, going to Delaware State, and I got a bachelor's of arts in political science. Dope, dope. And so, yeah, so that was the first benefit that I yeah. I used. I, I, I at that time I didn't understand the disability process, right. and so all I knew was I wanted to just you know go to school and be able to uh, take benefit from getting the uh, B A H gotcha, for going to gotcha. school. Yeah, I did the same thing. I got my bachelor's in uh, in accounting. I also got my associates in healthcare management, but I was pursuing my bachelor's in accounting, but I got both through my post-911 GI Bill. So use that benefit. Make sure you guys use that benefit. So tell us a little bit about the, dis the disabled side, the disability side of the VA. Pretty much anything you've used uh, while, 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 on, while serving, uh, any issue, any complaint you had that you went to see medical, um, no matter how minor, you should you should probably um, consider getting get looked at because you know whatever um, you went through you know whatever branch you were in you were probably told to suck it up or or even yeah, given a couple of ibuprofen and you know <laughs> so told to, you know told to go back to work yeah. and so um, as you start to get older um, those things will uh, right. will come back to haunt you right. so um, I encourage you no matter what it is um, if if you especially if you got seen um, at medical. While in the military. So what's, what's crazy is one of my friends came home. He, I was still in. He came home and he was like, yo, I'm 10% disabled through the VA. And I was like, for what? Like, I'm because I was still military. I'm like, there's nothing wrong with you. Like, you know, because we all have issues, but they're not compensating you while you're in. They're just giving you some ibuprofen and telling you to go home. Exactly. So I'm like, what do you mean? There's nothing wrong with you. You, you like handed out towels at the gym. Like that was his like job, people's services. And I was like, I was on the flight line launching planes. I was avionics. Like, I don't know what's wrong. He was like, well, I got 10% for a shaving waiver. So I was like, a shaving waiver? They gave you 10% disability? He said, yeah, because I got razor balls. Remember, I'm scared of And I was like, I don't understand this. When I come home, I got to get, <laughs> I got to figure this yeah. out because you know, anything can help, especially when you're coming home and you don't have a job. I served overseas, so I was coming home from, from Germany after years over there. So I didn't have a foundation, or an apartment, or anything. I was like a, a immigrant at the time. <laughs> like, you know, I'm coming in trying to figure it out. I don't even know the system in the United States at the time. So what was your process like? When you came, when you finally decided to go down there, did you start, like, when, whenever they rated you, did you... Did you start at 100% or was it like a gradual kind of? It, it was a gradual yeah. process. It's right. a, a four-year journey, yeah. um, which I guess yeah. 
four years. That's so, quick. That's according quick. to some things, some, I've heard quick. some people it took that's took them twenty years. Yeah, I'm or, not hundred percent. I came home eleven years ago. So so um, <laughs> uh, yeah, basically um, started out with thirty percent, went to fifty percent, seventy percent, and um. <clears throat> Actually, when I got to 70%, I applied for individual unemployability, um, which basically um, there's a couple of criteria for meeting it. But um, basically, if you're 70% or you have uh, one rating that's, I believe, 60% or higher, um, well, yeah, well, 60%, you can uh, apply for individual unemployability, yeah. which basically that then moves you up to the 100%. Um, percent bracket and basically unemployability <clears throat> individual unemployability is basically saying that um your your disabilities influence or or affect your ability um to work Game your job work. performance in some some you know manner right so basically if you have 70 percent of total ratings then you could be considered permanently disabled or if you have at least one rating with at least 60 percent then you can be rated just based on that alone. Like if your PTSD is over 60% or higher, just in PTSD, that may affect the way you're able to work. You might not be able to work around people and things like that. So because of that, they'll go ahead and pay you at 100% just because you still won't be able to find real gainful employment based off of that one particular rating. But if you have a combination of ratings, and that combination could be PTSD, bad back, bad knees, uh, <laughs> everything. But that combination could it could just be bad on you, and you may not. At a one point in time, I have a bad back. I couldn't even sit at a desk. My back was locking up on me, and so you know that was kind of my situation. Okay, so basically, uh, when you came home, it was a gradual climb. It took about four years. What was the major? What were some? What were the things that you learned while you were on the way up? Well, I realized that most of these doctors and psychiatrists, mm -hmm. number one, they've never served in the military, so yes. the military jargon, the alphabets that you know that you know, it, and the sadly, <laughs> um, the horrific things that you might have encountered, especially in combat, they may have seen or heard about in movies, but they've never, you know, firsthand experienced it. Right. And even to say, um, not necessarily from my experience, but from other, other veterans, they say they seem, the psychiatrist or the, the doctor seemed as if, like, they didn't care about, you know, what happened to you in battle. And, and, and I'll say it's because they, they really are looking for how it affects you currently like your day to day like you can come up with i mean it could be tr it could be what actually happened but you can paint it in like the most hollywood would way um of you know and give a whole scenario of your home be you know whatever happened you know in iraq and you know stuff like that and they're listen but Unless they're it's affecting you today yeah, it, but their pen won't start moving until they see or you you talk about how whatever happened overseas over and more on the ship um you know how that currently affects you that's what they were right right about yeah. that's what will be in their notes and ultimately that's what's going to decide yeah. what percentage you're at yeah. and and i want to make sure that everybody understands that we're not talking about anything fabricated you know don't if you, this ain't, you're not having issues, uh, if, if you don't have these real issues or anything like that, like if you haven't been through anything or whatever, not everybody's journey in the military was the same. A lot of us have gone through a lot of things and, and some people haven't. And to go in there and act like something has happened to you, that ain't really the right way to do this. So what we're talking about is having real issues. This man came home, he was dealing with things he didn't even know what the disability side was and that he had help there and stuff like that. He went through his process. He got his rating. He clearly deserved it. You know, he, they don't give out 100% lightly, you know. So I, I'm not at 100% and I, I would love to get it, but, you know, I'm not, I, I'm not there, you know. So, but if you have real things going on with you, you know, go do, do it the right way. Let them people know 
what you're really going through. A lot of times we downplay what's really wrong with us, you know, and especially when you're coming out of the military because we've been, it was almost like, like you were soft if you complained about anything. If you had to go to medical, if you, it was, it was like, really? Ah, oh, you know, but you could have really been going through something and we, we put up with a lot. We were separated from our families, uh, you, you know, all kinds of people, bombs and stuff going off. I, I think once my brother was in the shower, and they got hit, you know, bombs going off. And he's in the shower. Imagine that, being in the shower and bombs going off. You feel completely helpless. You don't, have, you don't even have on socks. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, you, you're put in situations that normal people aren't put in. And if you have real issues and you come home and you, you know, you don't know that there's something out there. It is something out there, and they can't help. But you still need to tell that story. And if you are being affected by it today, because believe me, I got friends who keep telling the VA their situation but they're not tying it to anything that's relevant of today because not everybody's the same. He could have went through, me and him could have been in the, in the same Humvee and I could be fine today and he could be messed up. And they're gonna look at each individual case individually to see what's wrong with you. So anyway, man, this is a, this is a great guy to count, you know, to talk to, you wanna tell him if, to, whether or not they'll be able to reach you some kind of way if they um, got any questions about I'm I'm on Instagram underscore Uncle Phil with two L's underscore Uncle Phil. I'm gonna be hollering to Uncle Phil. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but uh, anyway, right now you watch a casino. His name, man. We out. Beat me up, Scott. Beat me up, Scott. Me and her together, we just count it up. Money on my mind, I can't get enough. Don't play with my money, you don't want no beef. Cause I come from the bottom, I come from the street. When she first saw me, she said, Who is that? When a man saw me, he called me a threat. I'm the one that really did what a rap. They ain't never did it, they ain't really trapped. Say you want to be successful, but what's stopping you? Can't nothing stop you from being successful except for you. You standing in your own way. I came from the bottom. I ain't know nothing but the grind. You can't tell me nothing about that. I called the Bustin' Basin Street Projects in Tallahassee, Florida. You hear me? I used to think a million dollars would last me my whole life. I'd have made that and spent that. A million dollars ain't enough. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.